Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Symbiont and Through with Monty. Now, right before you is a video which I'm going to play. You see a middle-aged or elderly black female to the left, and you see a non-black male young to the right. Now, these particular videos, I do not know who find them funny. I sure don't. I think um, they go into the area of harassment. But before I go on, allow me to play it for you so you may witness it yourself. Okay, so you've seen that. So basically what you have were all women minding their own business, going about their business, doing their business, being harassed by this juvenile prank. And mind you, these women, some of them are old enough to be his mother, maybe even grandmother. You know, I wish that they can be charged with harassment because this is nothing more than what it is. We've been locked up for a whole year, a very difficult time for everyone. And people are just going outside to do their business. Then they got to be scared out of their wits. No one wants to have their fear level raised, anxiety level raised, blood pressure raised, possibly getting up to school to make a fast movement where you can injure a knee, a foot, you can fall down, you can hurt yourself. All because of a prank that youngsters want to go live, to go viral, to get hits, so they can become somewhat social media famous. You know, I don't find this to be amusing or funny at all. These are adults here. You do not play with adults. I mean, this age, this generation, to social media stuff trying to go viral is sickening. Some of it really is. Some of it catching criminals or corrupt cops can be very helpful. But you cross the line when you start to throw things on innocent people, scaring them. I mean, when you are just nothing but a form of harassment. And I'm sure that this young man right here would not like it if someone did that to his mother or his grandmother. And I sure in the hell wouldn't like it if someone did that to my mother. 
and let me go into the store with my elderly mother and I happen to be in a section, I come back and some type of rat is thrown on her, a mouse is thrown on her, a bat is thrown on her and fun. And you'll get a fist thrown in your face. I would have no qualms about going to jail for that. Because it's something that you deserve. And if you think this is bad, hold on, because it gets worse. Now, did anyone really find this funny? I sure didn't. I found this to be appalling. And I found this to be nothing but assault. Taking whatever it was, a big old carpet, rolled up carpet, and hitting people with it, plowing into people with it, where you're actually physically hitting their body, is nothing but assault. And they should be charged with assault. If anyone wants to bring charges against them, they should be able to. Once again, here you have a situation where you have a prank that has gone way too far. When have we got to the point where we are actually committing bodily injury to people? Where we're making bodily contact to people? And this has gone viral online for people to get laughs at, and they have no repercussions. You know, it's just a matter of time before someone truly gets hurt. It's a matter of time before they will run into the wrong person. These pranks here are not at all funny. And once again, we have youngsters who are playing with adults. When do you ever play with adults, people who are old enough to be your father? In some cases, is what... We have here. I mean, do people really think that it's funny to spoil people's day, to put people in a bad mood, to put people in an off mood? We should be at the point where we want people to go out there and enjoy themselves peacefully in society, to be able to shop, to browse about, to look for items in which they need or want, Peacefully, without harassment. And it speaks a lot to someone who takes pleasure in this type of enjoyment, even making a video like this, to disrupt people's pattern of life, to just disrupt their day as to what they really want to go out there and do. Nothing about this is funny. Keep watching, keep looking. And it's only going to be a matter of time before someone gets hurt. And I hate to say it. I really do. But maybe, just maybe, it was deserved. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. And I will see you beyond and through.